G'day guys, Chris here again for Spartan with the War Machine. So another one of our videos showing you the differences between your standard suspension setups like your TRX and your Jungle Gym and the War Machine. For this video we're going to go into some of the pulling variations that you can do with the War Machine. I've got it set up a little bit higher and I do have the pin out of its position so we're already into rotation. So I'm going to get straight into it and show you just the differences you can do with standard rowing. So Obviously, in your rowing position, you can just pull yourself up, bring your chest up to your hands, and because now this thing rotates on its own accord, I have to contract a lot harder through my back and through my biceps, so I'm getting a lot more muscular activation when I've got this thing unloaded. Obviously, the progression into this point would be to start including some of the one-arm rotation to each side, and then I can really focus on creating balance through a body, making sure there's no deviation through the left and right side, which is a nice thing to have. Now, if I want to take this to an extreme, we can do the full range of movement. So from one side, rowing right back and around, adding in that rotation, coming back in and all the way back down to the start, pulling in, extend, back in and back down. You can obviously make this easier or harder by walking further out or further in to the position. But you can see right through that range of movement, not only do I start including the biceps in the back, but as we push out to the side, the triceps get involved. So it's all sort of like a pull and a push movement at the same time. Going on to probably my favourite exercise you can do with the wall machine, which I've never seen anyone do on anything else, and it's called the climber. I'm going to shorten these handles <coughs> and the great thing about the war machine is it's so incredibly adjustable. Basically, perform what's called a prussic knot, a prussic hook, take the carabiner, hook it on, tighten up the rope and straight away I've shortened the handles. What I'm going to do is lower myself down to the ground and from here I've got the ability to do like a suspended chin up, except I'm going to experiment in doing that with one hand. So with my feet on the ground, I'm doing like a single arm chin up, which is a great way to get people strong enough and starting to, you know, activate all the right muscles when, uh, to, to perform a normal chin up. If you've got people that are super strong, this is where the real challenge comes in. Trying to hang yourself off the ground and rotate, rowing one arm at a time, like you're climbing a ladder with your feet off the ground. It's incredibly difficult, and just trying to do that for 15, 20 seconds is a major workout in itself. So there you go, just taking one movement again, being a rowing movement, and adding the rotation into your training by using the wall machine, then it becomes a totally different beast. If you want to check out more videos with the more machine and to get some more ideas for your training, just head to www.kettlebells.nu.